What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you five things you need to know about the Curse of Osiris DLC. But before we get into that people, do you want to win some epic loot? I have exclusive emblem and sparrow codes, gift cards and much more. To win some simply drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below and join my Discord server, linked within the video description. But let's get straight into the video so the release time it drops on december 5th for both playstation and xbox but it also drops on pc too now this i know many people were still wondering about as pc although definitely the best place to play destiny 2 does run behind on every other activity in terms of their release but this dlc will drop on all platforms at the same time time frame though this thing will drop i would say most likely a weekly reset if not a few hours after, but definitely the same time across the world. In my opinion though, I would probably go with 5pm UK time, which is roughly about 7 or 8 hours after reset time. So at 4, there will be a new raid activity confirmed by Bungie, but they mentioned and stated in an interview with Eurogamer it will be a new raid activity. When asked if this meant a whole new raid by Eurogamer, they repeated again, a new raid activity and the interview went on. So this has led many people to believe that there will be just changes made to the Leviathan raid where I don't. I think because this DLC surrounds Osiris and helping his ghosts find him and with the info of Osiris being trapped inside the water glass, this may be the raid which returns. Hence why they won't say a new raid. It does as well make sense in a way. The Vault Glass raid is by far the best raid ever, yet there is still so much we can learn from it. We know Osiris is trapped in there somewhere. Ikora states within the Pyramidian Strike that she senses Osiris in there. Odd. We're monitoring the Pyramidian's resonant frequencies as you explore. I thought I recognized the voice of Osiris. No. Also within the DLC reveal trailer we clearly see him fighting within a vault of glass. Also we had them data mined Destiny 2 PC audio files where plenty of vendors do mention the vault of glass. So in my opinion and I am hoping if a complete new raid isn't coming that they somehow find a way to bring back the vault of glass and give it us on a plate as a new experience. Maybe we enter at a different angle, changes will obviously have been made but who knows. But a new raid activity is coming on December 5th with the Curse of Osiris DLC expansion. So at 3, there will be plenty of new faces coming with the DLC and old ones returning too. Like I mentioned about the DLC and surrounding Osiris and his ghost shell. His ghost shell's name is Shijira. And I believe this will be the very first ghost shell besides our very own that we interact with. It is believed that we help her find Osiris within this DLC which sounds like a great bit of story to me. Definitely if he's located within the Vault of Glass. And then we have Osiris himself, Ikora Ray's mentor, the most notorious guardian ever. Ikora herself states and asks, will he return as an ally or bring death to us all? Well within the trailer it's no doubt a flashback with Missing fighting in the Vault of Glass as his ghost shout is beside him. But he does look a total badass and with that amazing looking armour too. If anything of this kind is available for us to obtain as a warlock, I will create one, I seriously will. But yeah, the DLC surrounds Osiris, I cannot wait to see his role. Brother Vance will also return, the Trials of Osiris Vendor from Destiny 1, we all know him. In Destiny 2 his role at the moment is unknown, but it is suggested that he will be located on Mercury, I believe a new place for us to explore, although the location of the lighthouse was there in Destiny 1, and I do believe this will be the very place we find him. Now I know in the trailer we see the lighthouse being destroyed, but this in my opinion is just a cinematic to when Iko was talking about uh, the Vex from past and future have opened up a gate on Mercury and basically plan to wipe us all out and rebuild in their image and she goes on to talk about Osiris, the one guardian who has seen this future. I'm guessing this is corresponding to just that when she's speaking about it and the lighthouse will be there for us to go to and meet Brother Vance. Okay so at 2 there will be a new level and power level increase. At the moment our level is stuck at a 20 and our power level maxes out at a 3 or 5. But with the Curse of Osiris DLC, both of them will raise, our level can reach a 25 and our power level can increase to a 335. Now a level increase in my opinion is what everybody wants, something to actually grind for. I just seriously hope they don't make it too easy to reach it, maybe adding only a few activities to allow us to actually get to this power level. Otherwise people will be there within a day or two which just makes things real boring real quick. 
and let's just hope they get things right this time. The thing about Destiny 2 and these DLCs is a chance for Bungie to give themselves a second chance. Hopefully they get it right this time. So the last thing you should know is the fact more old exotics are returning. In the reveal trailer we see three exotics which we know for certain, that being the Jade Rabbit, the Graviton Forfeit and the Telesto. But we also see two other exotics or what people believe will be two other exotics, that being a Fawn and a Touch of Malice. Here though I am in two minds, if we check out what people think these are and we zoom into this image, for sure the weapon the hunter is holding does look the exact same shape as the Fawn in my opinion. But the guardian at the front and the weapon he's holding, although it does look like the shape of the touch of malice, this could be just the lighting and the angle and it could be basically any weapon and it's hard to say for sure. Although the touch of malice being a weapon he truly had to grind for, a true exotic and I would definitely welcome back. I just hope if it does come back, Bungie just did not give it out like they did with the Midian multi tool. Hopefully there is a grind in place for us to obtain this weapon. The fawn however, I don't know how to feel about this one. It would be coming back to a whole new game type in PvP. So what effects would this have? I'm guessing if it does return, we would just have to wait and see. We also see what's believed to be a new exotic in the form of this Trace Rifle, which seems to be shooting solar energy. At the moment, we only have the Cold Heart. That is the only Trace Rifle in the entire game. So yes, I definitely welcome a new one. We also see a lot of weapons which all match the same design theme. Many think these are actually exotics, where I actually don't. I think that these are just a new raid activity weapon set, all Vex themed, all looking great. But then again, we will just have to wait and see. They could be new exotics, we don't know yet. But guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you did enjoy it, leaving a like really does help me out. If you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, people, I will see you on that next one. Thank <laughs> you.